Hello, everyone. Let's talk about our schedule. We've all walked around the dorms and seen an Excel schedule taped to somebody's door, and that's great. And now I'm going to show you how to become one of those people. We're going to, because you never know. Let's say uh, somebody said, quick, you won the lottery. We have to find this student right away. Uh, let's go ahead and create this schedule for you. So the first thing up here is just a little review, a lot of merge and centering up here just to get a nice big title of how you want to present yourself. You can say, uh, you can lead with the year, 2021 fall schedule for Dihan or or however you want to label it, but I do want to see, uh, I don't want to see individual cells. I want to see one big block of merge and centered cells with the title. And then for days of the week, uh, we remember this is review. All you gotta do is type in uh, Monday. No, Excel will automatically do the rest. It even copied the formatting from what I did over here. That's great. Wednesday never fits here. So when Wednesday doesn't fit, you can just kind of widen these cells to make your days fit. All right, so um, I'm going to um, move these over a couple just to give myself some space. So I'm just doing the same thing I did over here, but uh, I'm just kind of showing everybody how to do this. Make sure we have enough space. And then the rest here is determining how to create this clock schedule. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to go to the just to the left of my days here. And uh, what we want to do is we want to, I'm going to select this whole column. And uh, the properties here are kind of hidden for time. So I'm going to go into this column here. I'm going to right click and say uh, Format Cells. Right. This will bring up a little pop-up that allows you to uh, fine tune how you want your cells to um, look and you can go ahead and Google this there's tons of information out here but all you need to know is just click on this number tab go into the time setting here and we're gonna choose how we want our time to be viewed we're not creating a schedule right down to the seconds we only need hour and minutes this is military time because it says 1330 here we have uh, hour seconds and a.m. or p.m. so I'm gonna choose this one because I don't want to write in a.m. and p.m. every single time as long as I click on this option here from the time and number, I will get uh, automatically an AM there. So now if I type in here 8 colon 30, it knows um, it automatically says 8 AM. So let's say I wake up at 6. This is not early enough. So what I'll do here is I'll go over it. Let's pretend this whole, um, this whole table is someplace else. Uh, all we have to do is click on this row here and right click and say insert and what that does is it inserts a whole row above wherever you just clicked so let me show that to you again so here I'm at 8 a.m. I want to go I want to put in some rows before 8 a.m. I'm just gonna click on this row right click and say insert and we'll put in um, like a 6 uh, let's say we wake up at 630 and uh, now I can clear this content here and clear this content here and we'll start over so it's 6.30 a.m. and then if I type in just one half hour increment after that, we'll type in seven. I am not typing in a.m. or p.m., I'm just hitting seven. Now if I grab both of these cells together with this white puffy cross here, and then grab this chip, I can drag this down and it's gonna drag down hours in half an hour increments. You could do 10 minute increments, you can do 15 minute increments, whatever you want. And then if you have like, let's say our Monday lecture time starts at 9.55. If you want to put 9.55 in here because you don't have it, we'll go to 10. We want to put a, a line in between 10 and 9.30. I'll go over to this row here and we'll say insert. And then we can type in here uh, 9 colon 9.55. And then on Monday from 9.55 to 10, let's just say it to 11. We'll do Emergent Center. I want you to do Emergent Center for all of your activities, your class or whatever. Type in the name of your class. Intro to uh, Fashion Tech. And you see this problem here? When you do this, the text runs off. So if I click on the cell over here, my text bar, I can see the text, but I don't see it right here. So we want what we want to do, remember, after we do Emergent Center, we want to wrap text. Go ahead and hit that, wrap text. And then now, if you want to go to the next line, if you hit the enter sign, it goes to the cell below, of course. We, we just want to go to the next line, so I'm going to hold my Alt key, because I have a PC. If you have a Mac, it's an Option key. Hold the Alt key if you have a PC, hold the Option key if you have a Mac, and then press Enter, and it will go down to the next line. And you can say, uh, you know, Stump, uh, 
Actually, it used to be Stump Theater, but right now it's um, my uh, room, I guess. And then um, Alt Enter. Again, Option Enter if you have a Mac. Now I want to float this text in the center, so I'm going to grab this cell. And you see, I had to click out and click back in in order to get my properties to show. Uh, we're going to put a little bit of color in this cell, uh, whatever you want to choose. If you want to differentiate your lectures from your uh, labs, you can do that. Go ahead and fill in the rest of your schedule. I don't want to see any white space in your uh, lab. You know, it doesn't have to be super accurate. You can just uh, write down, you know, feeding dinosaurs or uh, you know, solving world hunger. I don't know, but just fill in the whole schedule here, uh, Monday through Friday. If you want to do Saturday and Sunday, that's fantastic. Good on you. Um, and that's pretty much it for the schedule here. Make it look like this over here. All right. Thank you. Bye bye.